had the pleasure of watching the two of them fight at some point before. Yep, Sinji and versus members. Yeah, they're going right into it. And this is the kind of matchup where, like, the amount of knowledge that these two have on each other. They are, they just have such game plans. Then it gets still somehow, it's always a toss up, it feels. I feel like it's because both of them are just constantly evolving as players. And by virtue of that, they're constantly picking up something new to take against each other. Because I feel like there's there's no one more aware of how often these two fight each other than Sinji and Numbers. <laughs> but it's not like they're only fighting each other. No, they're still very active participants in tournaments here in the city and in general in New York. And they've constantly been showing their, their medal all over. Numbers especially has been like really out here playing constantly and one thing I've made note of as of late playing more and more aggressive and effectively aggressive too. Yeah, and I mean, that aggression right now is at least paying dividends 107% onto Sinji. Even if he is playing aggressive, having a buffer of forcing Sinji to approach because he has the lead is a very nice thing for him. And that's deep breathing. Hoo boy. Yeah, nope. Really good awareness of Sinji, knowing that that header ball is going to extend whatever hits into it. Yep, and he went for the ledge attack specifically. That move does have invincibility until the hitbox comes out, so it is a fantastic way to challenge those smash attacks at the ledge. You know, I highlighted for a moment how Numbers has been playing a bit more aggressive as of late, but I would also like to shout out the fact that Sinji himself also tends to play a bit more aggressively against the likes of Numbers, because both of them just have an iron will when it comes to waiting out the other. Oh man, and now we're, look at this, 139 to 111. This is the sort of situation where whoever takes the stock gains a massive advantage. Number's probably gonna be living here. He's able to juke, dodge that hydrant, gets back to stage looking for an F tilt of his own, but oh, at the moment, both of them surviving here. Just barely, however, good DI on the forward tilt and surviving at 152, but that <laughs> landing was crazy. Numbers taking huge gambles, just landing right in Sinji's face. Oh, and he gets a tech on top of it. This is the sort of thing where these two have played so much, they know what to expect from the opponent. Both character and that trade working out for Numbers. He's at 180%. There are so many things that could kill him here, but he's still going to be hanging out on the ledge, trying to get whatever advantage he can. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shenanigans are already afoot in game one as Sinji is trying to That's even up the stock high. deficit, and he'll do it with the apple bonus fruit. Yeah, okay. Th that high up B, there's no way that Sinji wasn't going to kill him for yeah. it. Oh, but deep breathing is such a... Th I, that was so good. <laughs> the loop-to-loop the -loop around, just trying to avoid the aggression from John Numbers off stage. Where are we right now? <laughs> this is the... I, honestly, in this game, and when I mean this game, I mean Ultimate, these two, it feels like every time I watch them play, something different is happening. There's the evolution of play going on, and right now what we're seeing is the off-stage game. Sinji not scared at all to challenge Numbers, and Numbers is welcoming him to do it, as they are just like having a crazy brawl with nothing under their feet. You know, Salty, typically we'll refer to the layers of a player understanding their opponent and then adjusting as necessary. You know, the Yomi levels, we'll talk about how some players are just on, you know, a couple of layers. The, the Yomi levels kind of all right. These two, immeasurable Yomi levels. <laughs> they adjust so much when they have to play each other. It really is like looking at different people. But at the end of the day, it's just two masters of their craft. Oh, both of these flagship representatives of these characters. And right now, numbers showing that what happens when Pac-Man doesn't have to lead, has to approach, has to get everything started all on his lonesome. Because he's at, not, not numbers, at 94%. Oh, he did. I don't like that header ball. And neither does Sinji. Really good call out with the forward smash there. Happening to extend because of it. And now, Sinji in position to even up the damage, too, although a bit hard-pressed to do it, because I'm still... Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, buddy, hey, <laughs> hey. He's knocking on the door. You gonna let him in? <laughs> oh, man. 49% on numbers. He's still relatively safe, but Sinji also only at 105, meaning he doesn't have to worry about that many of Wii Fit's kill options. He can kind of play the way he wants to, maybe take a few risks in neutral. Oh, and he's doing that, just jumping in numbers, face and throwing out, trying to get the pressure started. 
his really specific zone that he's just been standing in Numbers' face has been helping him a lot because we've seen a couple of times now, Numbers is whiffing his grabs because Sinji's just not in position where he's expected to be. Oh, now with deep breathing in effect here. It's the sort of thing where Sinji, I love this, slows it down, knowing that he can just run out the clock on it, and there it's gone! And as soon as it disappears, that's when he chooses to go in for, honestly, a very committal option. <gasps> That was just a hilarious standoff. Both players at the Hydrant. <laughs> They're both aware of how explosive Hydrant can be in this situation, and that's exactly <laughs> why. Great presence of mind from Numbers to tech the bell inwards oh. on the stage. Percentages are climbing very fast as we reach the last minute and a half of this game one. Oh, man. 151% on Numbers. Deep breathing has expired, meaning that grab's not going to be able to kill. 58% on Sinji, looking for a forward tilt, trying to dodge that, and there it is! Yeah. Finally, a little bit of unsafe pressure. I think that was a hitbox of up, uh, forward air. Maybe he was trying to call out a jump or something like that. If we can get a look at it, normally that forward air, very safe, but it seemed like it was higher than normal. Yeah, the fact that up air starts kind of in front of uh, We Fit, really helping her in that situation. Yeah, that he, was... He went for down air. He went oh, for down air right before. Hold on. Yeah, Hold on. I know that up air is safe. And then he's moving. He's moving. Yep. See, he takes out his boots for down air. Put those Tims away. We're in the dead of the summer, boy. And we're back on Stadium 2. It makes plenty of sense to come back here because I feel stage-wise, the platforms can be used offensively and defensively really well by Pac-Man. Yeah, I mean, I still think, like, when you think about that game, how it went, that apple was literally, I think, frames away from punishing numbers roll. So these two are so neck and neck that it's literally coming down to frames, coming down to pixels in terms of who ends up being the champion at the end of the game. The win box actually helping out numbers. Very rarely do you see the win box of uh, Sun Citation be relevant. But yeah, right I feel there. like nowadays it's like a once a tournament kind of deal for numbies. So like, all right, we, yeah, we hadn't seen a lot of offstage shenanigans, and now that we're back in the, uh, you know, in game one, <laughs> Woo we're gonna take that. It don't matter though. Numbers still out for the kill, and a great start to game one, game two for him. Oh yeah, and once more, now that Numbers has the lead, he can kind of play to that. Oh, knew that he, he sort of realized at the last second that. Oh yeah, no, I do have to shield this. <laughs> we shield smash attacks, and they don't hurt us. <laughs> Innovative Sometimes. new advanced tech from John Numbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job from Sinji baiting him, trying to uh, punish him as much as he can while Numbers is trapped at the ledge. And honestly, even despite the fact that Numbers had such a massive lead, he hasn't really done anything with it. That's the first time, all right, now, that's the first time he managed to get like a two-hit combo in. Well, yeah, I think right now he's just sort of playing passively because he knows that Sinji's going to just rush in on him. So he didn't want to, you know, give too much of an opportunity to lose that stock quickly enough. That 46% that he managed to gather up, hilarious. 46% could have been nothing. But instead, Numbers does find himself in a pretty uh, meager lead, I'd say. It's less the percentage that matters and more the stage control, I feel. Because this yeah. is Numbers' stage. Yeah, I, I mean, percentage can matter a lot because A, once Sinji gets to the point where he has to start worrying about Wii Fit's kill options, it limits what he can do, what he can feel comfortable even attempting to go for. And the water displacement from the Hydrant actually protects Numbers from taking even more damage off of that up throw. I think I've seen the header ball go in more, like, obtuse angles in this game than, like, a long time. And... Numbers getting that up air out of shield a lot right now. But the thing is that, he, you know, he punished a forward air with it just again. But forward air is safe. Like, if Sinji starts adjusting and going for forward air and then, you know, an evasive option, ooh, that could be a, that could happen at a really pivotal moment. Possibly help Sinji make a comeback of some kind. Why did Sinji let him get that? Why did Sinji let that happen? He I just watched as Numbers fulfilled his game plan. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm gonna do my win condition real quick. Do you mind? Oh, no, that's fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got him! Yeah. Since he kind of deserved that one. 
I mean, that was the first time we've seen numbers really aggressively try to stop the side B. Um, yeah, look at this. I think I don't know if he had a jump. And, he, he, yep. he ends up hitting the um, the pellet, the pellet, and then at that point he's just too low to start like doing stuff. Because even though like Pac-Man can recover from pretty far, I don't think he can recover from the, the absolute edge of the blast zone. I mean, if he had his jump, possibly because he does get his side B back once the I believe once the pellet despawns. It takes a little bit though, because he's got to like actually tumble out of it and then like start it back up. Regardless, didn't work out so hot for him. So yeah. instead, we get a bit of a change of scenery as Game Three takes us to Yoshi's Story, and we're already at the ledge and out for the kill. Oh yeah, and the, this stage's ledge in particular is going to be even more unique. The fact that Sinji is going to be going out there to you know throw the fruit against it, we grab them so he has them in hand. Yeah, as we're seeing right now already. Uh, and the fact that Numbers has a wall jump and can be doing even cheekier things while he's at the ledge. Yeah. The you ever notice that uh, Wii Fit does push-ups while she's crouching? Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I, yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> Don't worry. Just in case you didn't, Numbers giving you an opportunity to check it out. Yeah, and also it's worth noting that he's crouching in the corner where there's the tiny little lip, which, you know, Wii Fit already the crouch. <laughs> That's just rude. <laughs> the lack of effort behind that forward tilt. So expertly timed. Oh, it's just, okay, we're having like these weird standoff moments and then somebody just like the first person to move wins. <laughs> and it keeps on being numbers and numbers is the one initiating these weird standoffs. Like he's just in the better position. Yeah, like he's not approaching. He's just like hanging back. He's like, yeah, no, I'll, I'll take a little bit of stage control when you give it to me, but... Ba -ba -ba. That was off the the trampoline, too. That was I... so on net. That entire stock may have been the most disrespectful stock I've ever seen in Ultimate. From start to finish. I mean, the thing is, he just started really effectively using Sinji's own tools against him. Okay, just read it. Just just hit him hard. Just do it. Just do it. I dare you. I double dare you numbers. Oh, okay. This is about as literal of an example as it gets for someone like camping in your face. These two are literally a fire hydrant distance away before they like actually initiate. And I think it's worth noting that the last two games we had very aggressive, you know, going off stage, doing all this stuff. We were talking about that. And now this is almost like a return to, you know, five years ago. Sinji being like, no, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to be a lot more careful, get my fruit. And Numbers is like, fine, whatever, do it. I still am winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going up. He's like letting him be as patient as he wants to as long as Numbers it's is still so winning at the end of the day. It's so bizarre that Sinji's just like letting Numbers get away with a lot of very silly options in neutral. Like that. <laughs> I feel like out of all of the options, that should be the one that Sinji's allowing to oh, leave. Oh, can we don't? Hold on a second. No, no, he's doing like this slingshot thing where he's running <laughs> into the hydrant, and then once he bursts through, he gets an extra boost of speed. <laughs> and I am... <laughs> he's trying to be as cheeky as possible right now. I don't even know... I don't even know if he's doing that just to entertain himself, man. Hey, someone's got to have fun. <laughs> Oh, wow! I didn't know you could wall jump while you're in the lag of, uh, air dodge. It's such a weird situation to be in. Like, why would you ever want to? I mean, honestly, it's a very clever thing that Numbers is doing right here. But this rinse, recycle, repeat. Numbers has not found a way past it. And finally back with some stage control. But for how long? A half a second at most. Yeah, uh, if, if even. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. not covering the space that the hydrant was able to cover as well, and just a poor angle there with the key bonus. Ah. Oh my, that's a green, oh sorry, the red trampoline right there, that was so scary. Numbers though, surviving at 183%. I mean, this is He's a, just taking uh, his time. It's He's a getting walk in the park. What, when we're done with this, it's we got we, we got to check the stats and see how much damage. Why are you allowed to tech that? You're at 191. <laughs> He's cheating. Oh, how are you living that? You're at 206. Scripted. <laughs> this I, is a scripted loss for Sinji. <laughs>
<laughs> That's how you take it? That's how you get the stock? Honestly, and there is no better way for it to end. Uh, uh, and, okay, so... Unless Shinji gets, like, the dumbest kill in existence, this is, uh, yeah, gonna kind of be, it. it's, because even if he did manage to, you know, slowly climb his way back, two and a half minutes on the clock, Shinji is the type of player that needs a lot of time in order to make comebacks happen, and just After wasn't that kind of set, Shinji is the kind of player that needs a hug. God damn! <laughs> What just happened? Also, wait, look at Number's expression. Look at his expression. He's just like, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> He's like, that's <laughs> how you die? <laughs> oh. Can we freeze frame on Number's when his eyes go wide during that, like, head? We don't have the No, technology. tell them to stop. Tell them to be like, hey, hey, Zomba Numbers. No, they're uh, immediately we need, uh... going into it, my friend. You don't, you don't have enough time. <laughs> no! <laughs> Go back. Frames. Ah!